Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosen here. Welcome to another video uh, demonstrating uh, one more thing I figured out to do using OBS Studio. This is my daily process of exploring, learning about OBS for Ubuntu Linux, although a lot of these videos are actually applicable for different, uh, whether you're using OBS on Windows or Mac as well. Uh, the things I figure out to do may be useful. So I figure out, so I figure why not just put them out there for whoever might be interested. Now, as usual, I don't suggest this is necessarily the very best way to do this. There are probably alternatives. There may be better ways. I'm just showing a way to do this. So let me describe uh, what I want to show. Now, I was just doing a video about um, ADHD, uh, something that is talking about uh, how uh, distraction is one of the things that visual distraction and cutting off LED, whatever, it doesn't really matter. What matters is the technical production details and that's that I wanted to show a Amazon listing of a product and I wanted to show a review in that listing page. So I've gone ahead and set up OBS Studio here on this screen and what I want to do is let's just go and add the screen, whoops, sorry, that's the wrong one. Uh, so yeah, that's the one we want. Now, typically when I add a screen, I like to do a little bit of uh, filtering work here, uh, cropping work. Now, you can see there's crop top left, bottom right, and I've talked about this in another video uh, regarding censoring personal info. So in this case, I don't like to show the Omnibar of Chrome. I don't want really people show, seeing my bookmark bar. Now I could use a guest profile, but it's easier to do it this way particularly if there's stuff in the header of the website itself that you don't make, you don't want making it into the video. Now you can see there's also in the bottom here, I've got like my um, indication icon. So I don't want any of this stuff. And while I'm at it, let's get rid of the scroll bar from the right. So you can see me beginning to crop away at this. Let's take off a few pixels from the left and now we're pretty good, right? So this is better than what we had before. It's more focused. Now, if I wanted to transition over to this during my recording slash stream whatever you can see we have a problem here now um, it doesn't fit i'm going to take off studio mode to make this a bit easier to see it doesn't fit onto the 1920 by 1080 canvas now of course one option here would be to stretch out but you're going to be losing some of the width we wanted to include because we're having to scale that out to fill up the um to fill up the canvas. Now you might want to have every little bit, every particular facet of the screen might be important to you. So you wanna keep it. Now the problem is if you wanna transition over to this, the background, if you don't have anything else going on in your OBS, it's going to come out as black. Do you see the way there's a black color? Then I have my overlay. Let's just take off the overlay for a second. So it's just going on to black. And that may not be, you may want to have a nicer background going on. So here is today's tip. So I'm gonna go into GIMP, and this is where it is Linux, Linux specific a little bit because I think it's mostly Linux people using GIMP. And what I can do is create a background. So let's say I wanted to have some kind of a fancy gradient background. I don't know, let's go for something a little bit uh, ridiculous, but that'll just demonstrate like this yellow orange. So I got this background going on and um, I could, let's just say that I wanted there to be some text on the background. Whoops, two capitals. Um, you know, something like this. Now I, I realize this is tacky and it doesn't look great. I'm just trying to demo something you might want to have. And let's duplicate this layer a couple of times as if this were kind of, you know, with those events where you have these, um, these kind of advertising billboards. So some kind of an effect like that, kind of a canvas that, whoops, uh, a canvas that you'd want to, when you put something up on top of it, you'd want this to come. And I'm just gonna show you, it's gonna have an effect, the kind of effect we're gonna achieve by doing this. So um, that, is, that is how that's going to work. And let me just go ahead now and save this as, um, I'm gonna call it like uh, uh, branded background filler. Now, my recommendation is to save all these things you create in a folder that you can later access. So you don't need to redo them uh, so that you, if you're gonna be using them for multiple videos, they're gonna look the same. This is as much a note to self as it is a note to other people. So I've gone ahead now and just uh, exported that from um, OBS and now I'm gonna go back over to my OBS 
and let me add in that as a image. So I'm gonna call it branded backgrounds and I'll just fish it out of my desktop. It doesn't look spectacular, but it's there. Now, what I'm gonna do now is create a, um, create a group that's gonna join up these two things. So I'm gonna have my screen three, uh, which let's just say for the purpose of this video, I'd want to call it Amazon products and the branded background. And I'm going to put them into a group and I'm gonna call this um, Amazon products. And the advantage of this is that, oh, it's already in use because I just did that before. So let's just call it, um, nope, Amazon mouse. Okay, so now I've created a group and uh, called Amazon mouse and I can even hide the constituent elements. Now the advantage of what I've just done is that um, if we want to, we can move these two things together as a layer. So let's say gray background is here. And let's say I'm just using OBS in studio mode. So what I can do is get ready to transition over to uh, the mouse. Now mouse is going to transition across. Now you can see I'm scrolling through the uh, screen that I cropped out and it's there's a background on the back of it. Now, as I said, this wasn't this this I do, this was not a uh, beautiful design masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. But you could use this for um, you know a couple of Amazon products you're going to show, and you want when you swap over, if you don't want to crop out, uh, rescale that layer, then uh, you could use this methodology and have something like a branded background that you use repeatedly group that um, in OBS together with the source of the screen you want to show. And that way, when you want to transition over to that or go over to that scene, uh, you can have those set up that they're going to move across together. And uh, that will mean that you're not going to, in, instead of having a, a black default background layer that's gonna be visible under the part of the screen that doesn't show, might look a bit more visually appealing to have your branded uh, background there. Hope that video is useful. If you wanna get more uh, OBS tutorials, then feel free to uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel.